and the top steel plate, which itself turned to lethal shrapnel. So much so that their Yugo wasn't the only car that took a hit. Now, this is one of our rental cars, and it was parked behind our bunker, which is under a mountain of dirt. And the shock wave was enough to crack this windshield just from that. It was too much. This window, however, was not broken by a shock wave. It was broken by shrapnel. Ooh, specifically this, like, 40-pound piece of inch-and-a-half thick steel, which flew probably 750, 800 feet to get here and cause this destruction. Clearly, there's carnage inside and out, as the power of the boom took everyone by surprise. So how does that leave Jamie's car destruction dossier? Now, we could have used a thicker plate, let's say a 12-inch thick one, but here's the thing, a plate that size is going to weigh 84,000 pounds. Just dropping that on the car by itself would crush the car really nicely, but that's not the point. The point was to do it with explosives. Now, somewhere out there, there might be the right combination of steel thickness and quantity of explosives that would do it right. But at this point, our best guess just didn't work at all. Well, I tell you what, this is without a doubt the most impressive piece of shrapnel we've ever made. Yep, and to boot, we never have to look at that car again. It is done. Yeah. Let's get out of here. <laughs>